What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where we showcase the wackiest Edison format replays that you send in here to the channel. Speaking of which, if you have a replay you want to send in, you can do so at the Discord link in the description. Go to the Edison format replays channel and post it there. Now we're starting off on a bit of a serious note today because we have a top 8 match from the latest WCQ over in Format Library. Uh, actually, obviously I didn't stream this event this weekend because I just didn't have time to... Uh, to cover it all day on Saturday, but, um, and then Top Cut turned into a, a multi-day nightmare like it usually does, so can't really, can't really coherently stream that either. I'll probably just do a video where I go over the Top Cut replays, and then also the deck lists, of course, um, just like I handled it last time, basically, but with, uh, with no stream. Hopefully next time I'm able to stream, um, but yeah, we got Eratos playing an absolutely wild pile, if I remember correctly. It's some kind of sort of crazy, like, water hero thing. He's got Divas, he's got Salvage, he's got Moray of Greed. Um, so, it's... <laughs> he's got, apparently, King of the Swamp and Polymerization as well. So, a lot of cool stuff going on here. Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa, we are doing things. Oh my god, what, what, what turn is this? It's like turn two or something, and Erita is just going off. Polly to summon Absolute Zero, Miracle Fusion to summon another Absolute Zero, and we appear to be playing some manner of Twilight thing. Um, now, this Trag is going to keep us alive, I think. So, yeah, we're not dead, and we have Brain Kais to maybe try and play into this a little bit. I don't know how well that's going to go, though. Uh, we draw into DD Crow, which is just like... Yeah, okay, never mind. It's just not happening for us. It's too much, actually. It's just too much. So moving on to game number two, we, unfortunately, Twilight deck didn't really get to play much before we just got absolutely OTK'd, obliterated, etc. Um, wow, okay, so also Mally in here, I guess. Uh, you can, like, poly with it and then banish it from your graveyard, get another hero out of your deck, use Diva or whatever, or Miracle. Um, so that's that's pretty neat. We have a nice opening move here for Twilight. We have a recharge into a Lumina Jane, into milling a bunch of cards. We got a Plague Spreader down there. We're not quite to having JD live, but we have two Light Swords on the field, and we have another one in our hand. Are we going to honest here? We are indeed. All right, opponent just going to set a bottomless. We are no fear torrential. We just bring back the Lila. Um, I guess of course JD and stuff is still live. How many darks are down there? We got five darks. Unfortunately, the dad is going to be dead for the foreseeable rest of the game probably <laughs> for the foreseeable rest of the game we're gonna attack with all of our guys and then end phase mill a bunch and now the opponent is in essentially jd one shot range so tough to see how we lose i guess absolute zero maybe um jd can't really push through that but we're gonna use the first ab zero to clear the board all right we take 2500 and we draw into a pulling the rug now we summon judgment dragon just going to attack over of course no sense paying the thousand here set pulling the rug pass we're gonna rug that diva man uh, it sucks having this dark armed in our hand it's just not a card just not a card we're taking 20 or 17 here solar recharge the really nice draw helps fix things a lot set oppression set raiko opponent's just gonna swing the raiko's gonna take out the gilman and now we're gonna have a salvage into maybe an e-call, into a, a moray. Wait, why not? Okay, did we normal summon this turn? I forget. Because he could have just gone for Stratos into into ocean, into moray, but maybe we're playing around rug or something. I guess that's a possibility. Uh, so we're going to go moray, put him back. Okay, draw three cards. Probably going to go for the Diva here, but the Royal Oppression is going to not put a stop to that, apparently. We Oppression now? No, we just... We just don't oppression? Are we like under cold wave or do we just... <laughs> I guess we were, were we relying on the plague play that much that we just don't want to flip our royal oppression maybe? Gotta really hope we mill a wall. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> okay, wait, to be fair. To be fair, there's only one card left in our deck. So I guess I guess we mathematically knew it was very likely we would mill a wolf. Is the one card left in the deck the other wolf? Or... Uh, maybe maybe we sided out a wolf, or maybe we only play two, or maybe I just can't see the third one. That's also a possibility. Uh, but now, yeah, I mean, the opponent can just kind of stall, except there's an oppression, and they're going to lose the duel because of that. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, the last card was Judgment Dragon. Okay, so the, I don't know. The, the third wolf was just MIA on my screen, I guess. 
Or maybe it was in the graveyard and I didn't see it. That's a, a distinct possibility. Game number three, we're going to be going for a turn one Ab-Zero Interdimensional Matter Transport. I didn't even, like, talk about this, but he was just playing Interdimensional Matter Transporter in his deck. We got Heavy Storm, that's going to force out the Solemn Judgment. And now we're going to use Interdimensional Matter Transporter as, like, a, a whack Dark Hole, or a, a Raigeki. It's like a trap card Raigeki with Ab-Zero on the field. Kind of funny, I don't know if it's worth it, but it's hilarious, so. The Gores is going to do some work here, though, I think, um... Yeah, should probably just be should be taking out the Zab Zero at the very least. We can go ahead and set Sangan or Gardner. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, we lose our field, but that's Gardner in the graveyard. We top deck Solar Recharge. Really nice draw. Summon Jane. The opponent needs to, like, Typhoon their back row and drop Gores, which they do do. So, uh, I guess good play there, but this is not a great situation when you have to go neg two to drop a Gores. Uh, we're going to get rid of the Jane. Okay, is this JD live yet? How many Light Swarms? One, two, three, and we're about to get number four here. All right, we go for a Raikou. And the opponent just sets a Poly and Pass. We set the Plague Spreader. They don't attack. Now we summon Caius. Interdimensional Matter Transporter Bottomless. Hilarious combo. Going to keep the opponent live here. We banish a Light in the Dark. Summon out Sork and attack for game. Did we... Yeah, we actually just didn't even go to get the JD live, because I think we already had a Raikou. Okay, I, I missed that, but... All right, Twilight going to take it over Eratos' extremely based water hero pile, which I will surely feature when we go over the top deck lists, of course. Uh, both these deck lists will probably be featured in that video. I think we're probably just going to do the full top cut, whatever that is, top 16, since we didn't get the opportunity to stream this time. Uh, next replay we have is... Um, it's like a Dragoon deck, but it's not like the normal Destiny End Dragoon deck. It's it's not playing like Trade-In and whatever. Uh, so I guess it's on like some Prisma Box stuff. You're going to see what it's like, but we are main decking deck dev still. And we are still also playing King of the Swamp. Going to go get the Poly after we turned our Prisma into a Dogma. Now we're going to go ahead and make the Destiny End Dragoon. Of course... This uh, makes our deck Devastation Virus live, so we can just put our guy in the graveyard. We're going to immediately fire it to stop them from normal summoning Blizzard, I guess. Although, could have just waited till after they normal summoned the Blizzard and then done it. Now, the opponent goes and gets a Gale with the, uh, with the Whirlwind Search, and they run over our stuff. They go Armor Master. Okay, our guy's going to come back, and he can destroy the Armor Master, so I don't know what they were thinking, actually. <laughs> That didn't seem like a great play going Armor Master. Opponent draws into a Solemn Judgment. We summon Phantom. Phantom copy Prisma. Now Call of the Haunted. Bring back Stratos. Gonna just take out a back row. We hit the Mirror Force, which is nice. And the opponent just concedes the game at that point because they are indeed dead. I wonder what the Phantom is for. Is it just like... Is it just like a, a whack Prisma? More ways to copy the... To copy the names? I guess maybe we'll see. Opponent hits into a Gore's... Um, that they, they don't do anything in main two, even though they can just Gale have at any point. They didn't... Why don't you use Gale's effect? Gale has an effect, my guy. My, my Blackwing player. Why don't you just Gale half things? I don't know. Seemed like, seemed like a pretty dumb play. Opponent's going to run over our set Phantom with the, the Bora, which we will just pop with the Destiny and Dragoon. End phase Typhoon. We're gonna take out the Call of the Haunted. Dark Arm Dragon comes down, and it's a lot of damage. But, uh, the Destiny End Dragoon will be coming back. We can use it to, re uh, to take out, I don't know, the, the Dark Armed, probably. You gotta take out that Dark Armed. And then we'll set Scapegoat and Pass, and now we just take out the Shura, okay. Set it Pass, opponent just draws another dead card. We use the Stratos, well, I don't know why we didn't go for the back row removal here. We just add another Prisma. And we, we're not attacking because we don't want to lose to D-Prison, obviously. We summon Prisma. The opponent scoops because they actually just can't... They just keep drawing dead cards. All right. Well, unfortunate. Oh, wait. This is... This build is a little bit old. It looks like they're playing, like, Noblemen of Extermination in Starlight Road. And they're bricking on these cards, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was... That was a pretty short replay with this weird Dragoon build. They're on Spark, man. Shout out to Sunny, by the way. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have Spirits. I, I don't think this is the same Spirit deck from before. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll, we'll, is this the same guy, even? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. So we are still playing Creature, so we're just going to take their Christia. <laughs> take their Christia, put back our Usurp. They, they, they're trying to use Valhalla under Christia. 
All right, they're gonna honest. No, they're, they're not. They're not gonna honest. We're gonna mirror force them. Okay, so we're up. We're on Izanagi. This is definitely not the same spirit. What does this guy even do? You remove one spirit monster from your hand to special summon this. What? That seems worse than the other one. I don't know. I guess it doesn't require as much setup. We actually just win because we we stop them from honesting over their own Christia for for two turns in a row. How unfortunate. So it looks like the opponent's playing, obviously, the Tethys build. Uh, they're going to special out Tethys, just pitch the Autos for trade-in, draw two cards, and then the Tethys will go off. Uh, we're trying to orange light Tethys, which I don't... Does that work? Hold up. Can you orange light Tethys? I thought it's like a continuous effect. Okay, so I just checked the ruling, and it turns out you can orange light Tethys, and that Tethys does, in fact, start a chain, which I was not aware of. I swear on, like, the DS game, Tethys is like a, a continuous effect or something, which I guess maybe I shouldn't be using that as my reference point because th those things got rulings wrong before. Anyway, we're also playing Susa Soldier. <laughs> Wait, what is this thing? All right, it's a 2k beater, which is nice. Um, it's just a 2k beater, and it inflicts half battle damage. But it is just a 2k beater. It gets over, like, everything. I guess it goes back to your hand, too, but... I mean, it's still just a 2k guy. That's That counts for something, right? Uh, the opponent's gonna honest, so they out their own Christia again. Good job, opponent. <laughs> Good job, opponent. We special out Sidra, set the Susa Soldier... Set bottomless trap hole. They're going to brain control, tack. Yeah, this isn't looking great. Are they going to tribute summon the Christia? We could at least bottomless it, which we will. Okay, we draw into creature swap. That's dead. We draw into mausoleum. That's not technically dead, but we're not going to use it. You're probably just going to drop gores here. All right. Let's see. What can we... We can creature swap and then just attack. All right, that'll work. We hit over the token. We hit in for 13. And we tribute set in main two. All right, opponent's going to special out Hecatron. They, <laughs> they did not just fall for us. The, oh, my God. We get to draw three cards. Yo, why didn't we set our hand, actually? We would have gotten to draw even more. I guess we just didn't think they would be they would be crazy enough to just attack our set guy. Uh, we, win, we win again with Creature Swap. Apparently, this is just the best card in the deck, Creature Swap. This is It's just Creature Swap dot deck. Creature Swap, take their guy. That's how we win. We take their Goyo, and, and they're dead. Okay. I mean, we did draw a bunch of cards off Yamato, which is cool, I guess. Uh, final replay we have is um, <laughs> my my favorite deck of the format. My favorite deck of the format is Gladiator Beast, but it's up against a cool deck. I mean, it's also the Test Ape build, so it's a little spicier. It's a little spicier. It's like the Spiral Test Ape version. Uh, the opponent, of course, absolutely based... Giga Chad playing friggin' Cosmo Queen Trihorned Turbo. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. We're gonna go into a Geysaurus here. That's gonna be met with a Starlight Road, which is just gonna go into a Stardust Dragon. However, we creature swap our test tape. Uh, let's see. We flip up. We go Torrential into Road into Judgment, stopping the Road. Actually, would have been better off just negating with the Stardust there. Escape from the Dark Dimension now. It looks like they're just playing my build, actually. They're just playing my build because they're on Caius, which is obviously correct and, and awesome that they're doing that. We're going to use the um, Magic Planner to draw two more. Of course, the cool thing about the Caius is it leaves the uh, continuous traps lingering there. Um, so it's a way to, to get value out of the Magic Planter. We're going to let them tag into Bestie here rather than using the Fiendish. Just going to draw more. They're also on Spy, so I guess it's not my build. Maybe it's like a combination of the the what are they cooking build and my build, where they they had like gravekeeper spy and stuff. So we're gonna fiendish here. Now we soul resurrection tr double tribute just to get the little guy off our field so they can't swing in with glads. Although I don't know if we need to do that because we have a freaking skill drain. Maybe in case they have a back row removal plus a glad. Now we're just beaten in with cosmo queen. Summon the gravekeeper. Get another descendant. Or how many descendants are you playing? You're playing multiple descendants here. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for. Game number one. Game number two, we open Dust Shoot. All right. Well, the Dust Shoot's not even that good. Wait. We didn't even use it. What? Why didn't you Dust Shoot them? At least Dust Shoot them when they start setting cards. Huh? Why would you just let them set their hand like that? All right. We're going to go Icarus Attack. 
Dust Tornado going to be chained. Hits the creature swap, so we will not be swapping the Test Ape. Apparently, this is just the creature swap episode. Apparently, creature swap is just broken because we use it to swap up another Test Ape and then get another Gladiator Beast out of our... Creature swap, best card in the format, I guess. Like, wow, we, we all thought it was just cringe and then it was just a meme and it's not that good, but actually, creature swap is just broken. For some reason, we tag into Geysaris to out a uh, just like floating there in limbo fiendish chain, and the opponent concedes. I guess maybe their hand didn't do anything. I don't know. I don't know what's up. We're setting two. Okay, we set a bunch. We're gonna not special Sidra. Just assuming it won't work. I guess opponent going to attack. We're gonna tag into a bestie. We lose the fifty fifty though. Hit the dust tornado. Very unfortunate. All right, brain control. This should definitively out the guy. We're not going to attack because we fear, I don't know, the, the 21 defender guy, or maybe we just don't want to hit in the test tape. That's a possibility as well. All right, we're just setting cards. We're going to swing. Are we going to use book? Are we going to use the hedge guard? We're going to use the book. Now we tag into this thing to try and go Geysaris. Uh, we Geysaris target exactly one back row to play around Starlight Road, but the exactly one back row was just a chainable trap, so we kind of get owned there. Uh, opponent draws into a Magic Planter, which is not technically dead. Uh, they call here, but Bottomless Trap Hole gets used. Um, the call is going to go die. We use Escape from the Dark Dimension, however. Now we can use Hedge Guard to uh, not take or not get destroyed by battle, and then tag into a Bestie, and then get rid of the guy. Uh, we're going to set, and I think we just die here, yeah. All right, unfortunate for the for the opponent who was playing a, a very cool deck, but they're going to get beat to death by Test Ape Gladiator Beast with also Hedge Guard, which I forget if Spiral was even playing that, so this might be a modified build. Um, but yeah, uh, moral of the episode, Creature Swap, best, best card in the format, and I'll be doing some videos on the WCQ shortly, so be sure to look out for those. All right. Without further ado, that's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.